All right, this is a big Saturday for Catamount Country. UVM women's basketball has already had a season to remember by making their first NCAA tournament appearance since 2010. But if they wanted to go any further today, they'd have to overcome a national powerhouse in the form of the Yukon Huskies. With that in mind, let's turn to Taylor Viles and Ken Drake live on the Yukon campus. They're both right outside of Gamble Pavilion in Storrs, Connecticut. Guys, what were you able to see today? Hey, Mike. Well, it was a good game in terms of atmosphere, in terms of fans. It was a packed house here at Gamble Pavilion. Of course, the Yukon Huskies, a powerhouse among women's basketball programs here in the United States. But as expected, the Huskies dominated these Catamounts, winning today by a final of 95 to 52. Yeah, and they actually got out to a 7-0 start before Vermont would score. One of the biggest things that I actually took away from the beginning of the game, actually, I know you noticed it too, was actually Vermont had to make some changes very early on because UConn's team is a little bit bigger, as you would expect. And actually, Vermont's first 10 points of the game came from the bench players, not the five starters that actually helped get them here. The size is exactly what I was focused yep. on. This UConn team, tall, big, and they use that all to their advantage. Coming up in sports, we will have full highlights from this game and sound from the locker room as the players recap their season. That's going to do it for me. For Kendrick, I'm Taylor Viles. We'll see you in sports. We're back here in Connecticut, just outside Gamble Pavilion, where the first game of the NCAA tournament for Vermont and UConn tipped off earlier today. And it was a clash that Vermont knew went very well, but at the same time knew was going to be a tough one. And we did not, Ken, see the upset of the century in this round of 64 game against the UConn Huskies, as, much, as it was a tough one for the Catamounts. Let's take a look at these highlights now. The Huskies came into this game 35-point favorites and looking to start another long tournament run to add to an equally long tournament resume. The first thing a fan would notice in this game is the size difference. Each player matchup was a mismatch. That's displayed right here. The three misses, but Alea Edwards grabs the offensive board and powers her way to the glass for the end one. The other way, Emma Otterback finds Maria Michael Buss at the top. Triple is good, and that's as close as it will get the rest of the way. Huskies with full court defense most of the first half. It pays off here. The steal and pretty passing draws the shooting foul. Free throws made. Second quarter, and Michael Buss tries to go to the paint, but denied by the reach of Dorka. Juaz, there's the height advantage again. Then Vermont makes it back-to-back -back threes. Here's the first. The bank open for Catherine Gilwee. She heats up after that. The sophomore finish with a team high 14 points. In the second, UConn only kept its pace up. Here's a good cut to the basket and finished by Juaz as the Huskies continue to roll. Then another steal for the UConn defense. Up floor with speed. Tic-tac-toe and Edwards ends the play in style. And the Huskies do what is expected, beating Vermont by a final of 95-52. to 52, So close to 100. With this team's size, stature, and ability to find each other on the floor, it's going to take a lot to knock them out of this 2023 NCAA tournament. The Huskies shot nearly 62% from the field while holding Vermont to 33. I think um, the physicality we saw all of conference compared to UConn, I mean, UConn is, is a crazy program in itself, and you never really can be like as prepared um, for the physicality whenever like we aren't as tall, and so whenever we're practicing to play them, like we don't have that strength and size to replicate um, in order to prepare for them. The outcome is what it is, but I am really proud. I think we stayed true to who we are and kept fighting, and we didn't give up. Um, Again, I felt like we played with more confidence offensively for most of this game than we did in the championship game. And so now it's a little taste, and I hope they stay hungry and, and want more of this. We're going to get back there. Like, we want to be back here. Like, we worked our butts off all season to get here, so we're not done. Like, we're done for the season, but we're not done next season. Like, we have a goal, and we're going to accomplish it. And Vermont's season and 17-game win streak come to an end. But as you heard from the players and head coach, Lisa Kresge, it was an impressive year. And I got a chance to talk with uh, the historic coach that they went against, Gino Oriyama. Oriyama and uh, he actually said nothing but good things about Vermont. We're going to hear from him tonight. We're also going to hear from some of the Vermont fans that came out. They were here in style. And potentially, how is this going to help recruiting in the future for these Catamounts? That's going to do it for us, for, for Ken Drake and Taylor Viles. We'll be right back.